But one thing about it, baby, we got street cats so bad in our neighborhood. And if we leave the garage up, they just be underneath the car. Like, no. I am like deathly afraid of cats. Everybody keeps asking if we're gonna get an actual pet. Are we gonna get a pet? <laughs> the fish was the best I could do right now. Um, three kids and a dogs. I couldn't imagine having dogs right now. Like, it sounds so cute. Like, I like dogs, but like, oh my lord. Have mercy on my soul. No, I don't think I could do dogs right now. Not until my kids get old enough to walk them. Anyways, welcome back to a vlog. I'm so excited to be vlogging. I haven't vlogged because I did that one weird, like, I'm gonna just vlog for today type of vibes. And I do like that a little bit, but it's just not hitting like a weekly vlog. So we're back <laughs> oh let me turn that off okay anyways we're starting off the vlog in the car late night it's not even really that late but it's sunday and we're headed to get our pickup orders because baby i did not place any delivery orders quick enough to get my stuff that i needed and the thing about doing let me turn the blinker off sorry y'all the thing about doing like instacart orders and stuff is like everything be out of stock and i did not have time for that today so i'm like okay i need to pick whatever kroger has everything that i need because i'm so tired of oh why are you honking your horn at me oh you think i should have went already well my bad i was talking to my friends that's my bad i should have went yeah okay Okay, but I got a new little mount for y'all in a car too, so y'all not gonna be wiggling and wobbling everywhere. It's a vibe! This person behind me is sick. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, well, we on our way to go pick up our orders because I needed everything. I needed everything. Okay, so the first stop is Target. I didn't get much from Target. I just got like two things from Target that they didn't have at Kroger, but I need my whole week to be set up because I'm ready to get back on the grind, okay? Like I have not been making the content, like well I have been making content, but I've mostly just been vlogging, but I miss doing get ready with me's and just all of that. And this year is my glow up year. Like I'm 24, I'm not having any more kids. So for everybody who keeps on asking, no, I'm not having no more kids. I wish I could turn the lights off in the back, y'all, but I don't. Okay. Okay. That's a little bit better. So there's not lights behind me. Okay. I think that's better. Anyways, moral of the story, I'm not having any more kids. I'm about to be 24. I feel like that's grown, grown. Like, I'm legal to drink. I'm I'm almost legal enough to get a rental and, and for my insurance prices to go down. Okay, so yeah this year is very much personal i'm putting a lot into myself not only into like my character and development but also into like my like physical which you know it is what it is i just want to feel like a bad bitch i feel like the one thing about having kids young is just like i gave up like my bad bitch era like i had a baby at 17 okay my body didn't even get to get to its prime grown woman without the kids invading it you know what i'm saying so yeah we started with the with the with the boobs the boobs are boobing you feel me i don't regret getting a breast lift at all i am like in love with it 1000 percent um even though my boobs are a little bit smaller than i wanted them to be listen i still i, I really like them um and yeah i'm just i'm not gonna necessarily get any more like plastic surgery done but I am going to have a few more cosmetic procedures. I'm actually having one coming up soon. And I get like nervous to talk about stuff like this because people take things different ways. But <clears throat> something that I don't talk about a lot is like how much I've struggled with just like, I wouldn't even say body dysmorphia. I don't know if there's another way to say it, but like body complex issues since I had not even really after I had the first two boys I feel like it was like onset just when COVID happened and I don't know if it's because I spent more time in the house just focusing on like every little detail and also doing content and like seeing every little flaw that you have about yourself I just became like really insecure and very self-conscious about like just different things on my body that I didn't necessarily notice before um and I'm gonna fix them so it is <laughs> it is but it is okay i want to just be in my bad bitch era like i feel like i'm at the prime of my 20s and anyways i said all that just to tell y'all that i'm getting veneers next week so 
yeah that's gonna be a whole process i'm gonna take y'all along with me and do a very detailed try to keep y'all updated and go through the whole process with y'all kind of how i did with my boobs which we're having our final kind of like post-op checkup until our yearly post-op checkup this week as well we have literally like a ton of shit going on like the kids are going back to school you guys which i'm like happy sad about because i'm happy for them because carter has been like begging to go to school since he's been at home like he loves being social and like having friends and i didn't know exactly where we were gonna be after this lease so that's kind of why it took us a long time to just put him in school because he was at the same school for like three years and i just remember one thing as a kid is like i bounced around a lot from place to place and i just didn't want to do that to him um not that anything like I didn't come out bad or anything but I don't know I just don't want to have like that inconsistency of putting him in one school and then taking him out um and we don't know where we're gonna move yet when our lease is up in six months so that was kind of why I was more hesitant but I'm also like now more like kind of thinking about staying in Dallas but <laughs> um yeah so we're gonna enroll the boys in school we have a tour scheduled tomorrow for a school that we were able to find that's a nice school that has availability for all of the boys my biggest issue or dilemma is what to do with mellow because a part of me is like i really do not like want him to be gone or away from me um at daycare but it's also just like if I want to be able to like put my all into like some things that I want to do this year I have to have some time to be able to do that like just realistically like I just have to be able to have the time to do it and having all three of the kids done like I literally like I, I stopped and I looked back y'all and I was literally like because you guys tell me all the time which you guys are so sweet I love you guys so much like on another topic though like I really am like super grateful for you guys like one of the things I always struggled with growing up is feeling like I didn't have like community and so like now having all of these people like that are like so supportive because I feel like my community is really good for the most part but y'all don't I'm not even gonna get sappy but okay anyways so back to mellow um what were we saying oh I don't know how I've been getting anything done like, I don't know how I've been getting anything done. Like, it's really just been, like, the most chaotic, like, last six months. Like, having a newborn and then having everybody home from school and just, wow. Like, I really, I really don't know how I've been editing or how I've been getting anything done. <laughs> and so, yeah, in order to, like, you know, do the things that I want to do, I'm going to have to have a break somewhere in there. So, I don't know exactly if he's yet yeah, if he's gonna go to school or not all of the boys are gonna start part-time first so they're only gonna go Monday Wednesday and Friday and we're gonna see how that goes for a little while let me tell Target that I'm here but yeah we're gonna see how that goes for a little while I'm excited I, if everything works out with the school when we go tour tomorrow it looks nice from the outside so um, I did extensive research and reviews on the school so fingers crossed but yeah anyways so that's something that's going on this week what else we have our last post-op appointment we have a ton of appointments i know i told you guys like in the beginning of the year when i was vlogging um that this month was just gonna get like the house organized and everything and i even filmed like some content organizing and cleaning the house but i just never let me zip this up before they come to my window i just never really posted oh. hi six, eight, six, one. Yep. I can take it. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. So anyways, yeah, I've been doing like a ton of stuff around the house as far as like cleaning and organizing and I did like a whole declutter of the entire house. Everything is clean. I did a really deep clean last weekend and so the next step was kind of just making sure that everybody gets up to date on all of their dentist and doctor's appointments because I thought initially I was going to find a new pediatrician and a new dentist for the kids since we moved but I was just like screw it I'll just make the drive to who they've been going to since they were born for their dentist and doctor so that's what we did at the end of last week Carter and Carson went they got up to date on their vaccinations and then Mello has to go Tuesday and then the boys have their dentist appointment in the afternoon so we have a whole bunch of just appointments I think I actually probably maybe need to reschedule my 
I don't know my 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 car my like post op appointment because I don't know if it's bald on a Tuesday or not but we'll see anyway so we have lots of that going on and yeah I moral of the story haven't really been vlogging because I got into this place where I went back to like oh my gosh I want to make sure my content is like perfect and like da 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 and just realistically like mm, it's not it's not giving that it's not giving that everything is just gonna be perfect and the so here we are we're just back to rolling with the punches okay I'm pretty sure I gotta look and see I should have did this while I was in the parking lot oh my gosh nobody is behind me so it's fine for now I might have to just pull over somewhere if somebody comes behind me I placed a Kroger pickup order but I didn't know I can't remember which Kroger I did it at because there's like three around my house but I had to pick the one that um I had to pick the one that had everything in stock why is everything out of stock I don't understand this is Kroger C details okay okay the looking guy we didn't even have nobody behind us being mad at us okay anyways yeah that's kind of what I've been doing I just been cleaning and organizing the house and I also felt like I don't know if you guys were gonna get bored of seeing me clean and organize my house for like the gazillionth time I may insert a couple little clips here and there, but I don't know. I just, yeah, I feel like I was in a little rut. I ended up having like a little girls day out on Friday as well, which was nice. I'm really excited to just like have some time back to myself as well. Cause like I have like moments where I have time to myself, like at night when the kids go to sleep and stuff, but that's also like when I'm decompressing from my day. So it's just not the same of just being able to like get out of the house, like get out of the house and like relax or, do whatever I need to do without being on like a time because usually when I go to like my appointments and stuff since the kids have been home I crunch everything together so I can just go to make it like more accommodating to whoever is helping with the kids whether it's Aaron or his mom um and so <clears throat> yeah it'll just be nice to like kind of have some flexibility in my schedule and be a little bit more relaxed <laughs> to say the least so that being said yeah this is our 24 we this is our bad age era okay we are doing all the things um so yeah getting my teeth done we got my tits done we're getting back in the gym in february or going to classes maybe i haven't decided i'm low-key thinking about getting a pilates um or a reformer at the house and also like a like a cycling bike at home i haven't decided quite yet if that's what i'm gonna do or not i think i might take like one or two classes and feel it out but i just feel like having the flexibility to be able to just like do the classes at home and not have to worry about the commute there and back because that's time consuming and when you have kids it's like every little minute it counts okay like every little thing counts even if I wanted to go to the gym at or, or go to a Pilates class at 5 30 like my kids probably be up at like before I got back home that's just like not ideal for me I want to be there when my kids wake up I want to make sure that they have breakfast like ready and all that stuff so I'm thinking about just getting some stuff at home I've been doing my little uh, research on Amazon and reading some reviews on reformers and cycling things so we'll see I also want to do like a few home updates and maybe some like home projects I don't know if we'll get that done this week but again we're just getting back into weekly vlogging and we're going with the flow until we figure out <laughs> until we get back into a rhythm because I feel like the last six months of my life has just like been like chaotic and all over the place and I don't know if it's gonna get better anytime soon but we just gotta take it day by day I also feel like so bad when I have to come on here and be like hey y'all sorry I wasn't vlogging because I was like in a rut or whatever like I feel like I should have my shit together and I feel like I don't like as far as I don't know I'm I'm not like type a per se but I do like I don't know I think I'm just controlling I think that's my problem I want everything to be like perfectly laid out how I want it to go and that never happens it never, it never happens so yeah eight two how long have we been talking 16 minutes I missed you guys I want y'all to please comment me like comment what y'all get from the grocery store though I'm in a grocery rut which actually I did find a service that's like super helpful that I'm trying out this week it's called 
hunger route. So I only got like the basic stuff that we get from Kroger that I just knew, like the drinks that we drink and like, you know, eggs, bread, whatever. But hunger route basically is like this service that like delivers you groceries for like specific meals, but they also can include like snacks and like desserts and breakfast and all of that stuff. So we're trying that out this week. But again, I just placed an order for like all of the stuff that we normally need on a regular day to day basis. So yeah, but anyways, I want to know what y'all be getting from the grocery store, okay? Like, cause I tried to get on TikTok and stuff, but like the hauls wouldn't wasn't they wasn't hauling. So y'all tell me what y'all get, okay? And then what else? Oh, I'm drinking my caramel water. Um, y'all need to get this. I'm being so serious. Like, I can't even say explicitly what I want to say on here about the caramel water, but it just know if you know me and you've ever seen any of my old videos, this would have been like my top thing I would have recommended to y'all in a get ready with me appointment. Like, get this. <laughs> get that shot. <laughs> Please. Please. Y'all know I'm not gonna steer you wrong, baby. I'm not gonna steer you wrong. Anywho, on another note. Get ready with me is are coming back. I know I've said this so many times, but I just need y'all to like, I don't know if I'm gonna have to do like a soft launch or something because it's not gonna be titled get ready with me appointment, but we're not 21 anymore and we can't just be on the internet saying that um, we gotta be brand friendly. Okay, so it's just gonna be simple get ready with me is, and y'all are like gonna have to peep the vibes. Just click the video and watch it. It's gonna be the same content. It's just not gonna be titled derogatorily. Is that a word? <laughs> okay, but anyways, yeah, we're gonna go home. When I went on my little girls day or whatever and I like went to Sephora and um, all that, maybe I'll just insert the clips right here so y'all can just come along with me. I looked a hot ass mess, but I did vlog that day <clears throat> and I got like um, some new stuff from Sephora and I went to Zara, so either cue that footage or I'll just do a little haul when I get home. Whatever editing me decides to do. Where is the pickup at this Kroger? Uh, drive through pharmacy. There ain't no pickup sign. What time is it? Okay, I'm four minutes early from the pickup. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to go on the road. Don't ask me how to go I've been to this Kroger before. Not a huge fan. Not a huge fan at all. The one off of Mockingbird is nicer, I think. Where do you do pickup? This is Starbucks. Why does Starbucks have pickup? Man, this is awkward. Now I feel like I'm just like circling the parking lot. Kroger! Where is the pickup spots? That is the one thing that I can say about the suburbs being a little bit like better than the city. Like the city has the new restaurants and like the nightlife, which I love, which is why I cannot see myself moving back to the suburbs. Like I love living in the city, but also like shouldn't the city be old? Like the suburbs, oh, fresh, new. Cause you know, it's like new cities that they're like making and putting stuff in or whatever. I should over here and be like, old as hell. Like, where is the pickup? Pickup location. Is this, is this what it is? And see, and this is in the most sketchy part of the parking lot. Like, this is giving, like, please come and kidnap me right now. I'm like one of those super paranoid people that be thinking people are going to kidnap you. Like, at every, any given time, I watch entirely too much Law and Order. So, catch me if you can. Parking spot number two. Rivers, rivers, rivers. Oh, why is nobody else picking up their groceries at 7 30? It's because the Cowboys came on. <clears throat> it's our laundry from this week getting delivered, and the fact that I haven't put away the laundry that we got the week before. Let's answer some questions because we're in the parking lot and it's just like, might as well, right? Like, might as well. Let's see the questions. I'm sure the camera will cut me off eventually okay here we go all right everybody wants to know am i trying for a baby girl if you did not peep the vibes at the beginning of the vlog i'm not having any more kids the only way that i will sacrifice this year body again for another child or human life would be if i was a surrogate for my brother or my brother-in-law he is lgbtq okay 
that's for black lives matter but <laughs> um and so if like he wanted to it will he, i know he does want to have a baby and it's something we talked about like i would be a surrogate for him i told him like he's on a clock though like he only has like two more years and then like the uterus is done but the only way i would be pregnant again is if i was like a surrogate for him i do not care to have a little girl sometimes i'd be looking at little girls and i'd be like oh look so cute i want a little mini me then i go home to my boys and we play like nerf guns and stuff and i'm like yeah i don't even want a little girl so <clears throat> yeah no girls oh. all right can i get a last name real quick walker and do you have any physical paper coupons? No. Oh, yeah, fine. Where would you like to stop? In the trunk. Oh. Okay. I think the trunk is full. Oh. Is it full? I'm making sure you didn't hit anything. The oh, the sign is closed. Is the trunk? Let me look and see if the trunk is full. I think the trunk is full. I think I have stuff that full. I mean, you know what I got, worried about it. Yeah, if it'll fit on top of it, if not, then I can put it in the back seat. Okay, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I was gonna leave with the trunk open. At Target, they they pushed a little button. Okay, <clears throat> that was embarrassing. I have like a ton of stuff because I told y'all I clean the house and I purged everybody's closets and rooms, and so I have a ton of stuff to take to the Goodwill uh, for donation. <laughs> and I haven't taken it yet, and it's literally so full. Anyways, okay. Some of the questions. Let me just read them really fast, and then here I am just making excuses to talk to you guys. Good morning. It is Monday morning. So last time I talked to y'all was yesterday. I came across this like little app on TikTok and I had already been kind of like doing this on my phone, but it just like inspired me even more and gave me some like more things to like add to it. But basically the app is called like Me Plus or something. And I don't necessarily love the app, but it did give me inspo to kind of like make my own little thing in my notes on my phone. And I did like some of the like cleaning like templates they had so i'm following one of those but i don't know if i'm actually going to keep the app but anyways just that's where i got the inspo from but <clears throat> yeah so basically today is monday and i'm trying to get on like this better like cleaning schedule routine instead of trying to do everything on one day so we're going to try it out this week see how it goes but monday is a bedroom day so it's change the sheets dust off the furniture clean the mirrors sweep them off the floors and basically, you know, get out any trash or whatever that you have in your room. So, this is what the current state of my room looks like. It's not too shabby. <laughs> we really just gotta make the bed and clean off my dresser over here. The bathroom is another story, but today ain't bathroom day. Okay, today is bedroom day. So that's what we focus on. <clears throat> so if you like have the app, I'll show you guys what the app looks like just in case you're curious. Because it might work for some people. It might have been the way I took the quiz because it like, I think it's, it's, like personalized to everybody so I didn't get the same things as what I saw other people get on TikTok um but I liked theirs better than mine so I don't know yeah anyways but the app pretty much looks like this and so you like go to like your routine and then you can like click off what you were supposed to do for that day. And I like it because it did give me inspo of different things to add to my routine, but I've just been putting it in my notes with the little check marks on my phone. So I have like a morning one and it just says like non-negotiable in the morning. And we've got like make our bed, pray, use our room spray. Okay, we're using all of the things that we bought that we don't actually use, <laughs> okay? Uh, take vitamins, brush teeth, moisturize, take a shower, drink water, etc. So yeah, I'm still working on it and like, creating my like list or whatever but that's what i have so far so we are going to make the bed really quickly and we'll change the sheets actually because i didn't change them yesterday okay so we're going to change the sheets make the bed and then clean off the dresser i did get a steamer okay look I got this Con Air steamer because it was like the best reviews on Amazon. The one I had got before this, I didn't really like that much, but this one was supposed to be good. So we're going to attempt to steam the sheets today and do the thing. So after we do this, um, I got ready for the day, but I didn't get like really dressed. I just like threw something on this morning so I could hurry up and get downstairs and make the kids breakfast and all of that stuff. But 
after we make the bed and do our little cleaning for the day, we're gonna go to Target. When's the last time we've been like to Target together? A while, a while. I think I'm gonna do a dry month next month in February though. Like I'm not gonna go to Target and I'm not gonna get anything from Amazon. I actually haven't been to Target all year besides the drive up order. So I think I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> but I think I need to do like, um, like a no Amazon month because me and Amazon like, oof. The way they take my coin is, insane it's insane it's literally insane <laughs> so hey siri play no cap choppers and ferraris Oh my goodness, I honestly forgot that it was today. I'm so sorry. Yes, please. bathroom day but also if it's bedroom day does that mean I also need to do the kids bedroom since they're not old enough to clean their bedrooms I think yes so then I was like okay well I need to go over there and like clean up their room but then I was like my bathroom is a disaster and I want to go to Target before we have to leave today um we have to go do the tour of the school at 1 30 so we need to leave here probably like 1 15 and it's already going to be 11 Target at least gonna be like a cool hour so I think I'm just gonna straighten up the kids room so I can stay on like track of bedrooms um for today and then I'll just clean up my bathroom later tonight I really should have did it last night but I just got in the bed and I didn't do it so let's go clean up the boys room and then we'll get dressed really fast and just go to Target so their room shouldn't take too long because it's mostly just like picking putting things back in place and then 
vacuum the floors really quickly and we should be good, so, okay. Okay, rooms are clean, so our Monday task is completed, what did we say? Yes, okay. All right, so we're just gonna hurry up and get ready to go to Target really fast. It's cold outside, so we're probably just gonna put on a sweatsuit or something, but I low-key forgot I need to go pick up some hair because I love the U-part wigs. Love them. However, I don't want to take them off every single day because I be looking like a I be looking like a balloon. Like I just be walking around with my brain, <laughs> my brains, and my leave out around the house. And I know my nigga is sick of me. I'm sick of me. <laughs> so like I just want to have it either sewn down or get a sew in. So I am gonna go get some bundles and then we'll kind of just see. I'm gonna try to get my hair done on Friday, which is like my new maintenance days when I go get my nails done, my lashes done, whatever else that I want to do for the day. I usually just try to schedule it on Fridays. But this U part wig, I like it and I like the hair and all the good stuff, but I just feel like it's, well, I don't feel like it is too big for my head. Cause I need a small cap size. So if I get a U part wig, I need it to be custom. So I was going to start making a U part wig with the bundles, but I'm like, I might just do like a glueless wig. We're still figuring it out, okay? You guys, I've already said this, but are coming along with me on my glow up journey this year. So we're gonna try out a couple of different things till we find what's our, like till I find what I like. And I'm also trying to keep in mind that I wanna do protective styles because ultimately I would like to just be able to wear my hair, but but yeah, my hair is super damaged. So I obviously did, like grow it out. So we're just trying to find our like staple look for now. I really don't think I'm gonna do anything to the hair to be honest, because I'm about to just, slap a hat on i'm not going even hold y'all i have been trying out the unseen sunscreen from super Gloop, and i've been liking it so my top sunscreen so far is definitely elta md like i love elta md i don't care and i specifically like the one that's actually meant for your body not for your face i feel like the one for your face is cool but this one like i don't know it doesn't break me out at all and so it's like the UV Sport Broad Spectrum 50 and it's got zinc oxide in it. I've been trying out the Super Glue because it has like a different finish. It's almost like a primer. So I feel like this would be good under makeup. I'm not going to put any makeup on because we're just going to Target and it is what it is. But I'm thinking about taking like a makeup class and stuff. Did I already tell you guys that? I don't know. Or getting my makeup done to go like out on a date or something. I don't know. I've just been wanting to feel more girly lately. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily like a tomboy, but I'm definitely not like on the extreme feminine side. But I've been like that my whole life and my mom is kind of like that as well. Like we just don't wear like a lot of dresses and skirts or like, you know. Okay, so yeah, it has like a matte finish, which I kind of like, kind of don't like. I feel like it's good if you're gonna like put makeup on, but if you want like a glow from your sunscreen, the Elta MD is definitely the better option. But we really start with sunscreen on because I already did my whole skincare routine this morning. I'm just gonna put on some lip balm and brush my eyelashes. Okay. I'm also trying to grow out my eyelashes right now using the Grande Lash Serum. And so far I've been liking it. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of like at home maintenance on Friday too. I got some stuff to like laminate my brows and um, tint them. And what else did I get? I think just mainly that. And then I was gonna get wax, that was my plan, but I actually ended up scheduling to like start laser hair removal again because I found this place that's supposed to be like way better than the place that I had gone to before. Not because the actual place is any better, but the IPL is the laser hair removal that I started getting. If you guys remember that, I would vlogged it like back when I started it before I got pregnant. But so an IPL laser hair removal hurts so much more than like precision laser hair removal i don't know i'm going to laser away um and to try it out the only thing that i don't like about laser away is that you have to 
pay the whole thing up front um, or you can do payment plans but they want you to like finance which I didn't want to finance it through a third party lender because I just like don't want it on my credit but anyways you have to pay the full amount for your sessions which I know a lot of other med spas do that too but the one the reason why I like the place that I went to is because I could just pay per session which I feel like was more optimal for someone like me especially because of my skin tone so that I could try it out and see if it was actually working before I just paid you thousands of dollars to do the laser hair removal so I asked her before I like paid for my like sessions which it comes with like eight sessions eight sessions I think and <clears throat> I was like well what happens if like I still am getting hair you know or whatever the case and she was like I've never seen that happen before but if you did then you would purchase like at a discounted price three more sessions if that makes sense so anyways we're gonna try it out and see if it's worth the hype I've been seeing so many people go or like little TikTok ads or whatever and I finally was like okay because I really did want to get back into doing laser. I just didn't know exactly when I was going to start it back up. Because honestly, like, when I got it done in the past, it just hurt so bad. So, I was like, Oof. yeah. No. I'm just putting on my jewelry really fast because it's already right here in the bathroom. And I learned this little hack the other day um, about for putting on your bracelet by yourself. Oh, I'm doing, am I doing it right? I don't know. You just basically put a bobby pin on there. Um, let's just put it, I don't think the bobby pin actually, I don't think it actually matters where you put the bobby pin, but basically, you put the bobby pin on the bracelet like this, and then you hold it in your hand, and then you put the bracelet on. The first time I did it, it was so easy, and then these last couple times I tried to do it, I was like, hmm. All right, that was a little bit more difficult than I anticipated, but I'm trying to start wearing my jewelry because I only ever wear my jewelry when I like go to church or something. So I'm trying to start like wearing my stuff every day and all of that. Ugh. So we got our rings on, but let's get dressed. I don't know where my camera mount went, so hold on right there. My closet is a mess. What's new? Like, I just, even though I keep throwing stuff away, it's just me. I'm the problem. It's not the stuff, it's me. I just cannot keep my life together, clearly. Clearly. But honestly, I don't know how people do when they have, like, little kids. Like, how do you... You, you just, you just, you just don't. I just, I don't think that it's possible. I think every day is just like a, a reset day. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take off these little darker pants that I have on. I'm wearing my black Nike suit. Nothing new. And then look, did I ever show you guys those? Look, I got little wig stands for my, for my wig. <laughs> Cause I was just throwing it off and around the house every day. I really need to buy me some new underwear. I never wear underwear, like, ever. And I'm starting to think that maybe, maybe I should start. It's super cold outside, of course, even though it was like 85 last week. Texas is so bipolar, but I know for sure this month, the end of this month and the rest of February is usually when we have our coldest weather. And then it's spring time, so. I'm gonna wear a scarf too, but I think I'm just gonna put on the hat since I don't really feel like doing my hair today. Boom, 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 boom. I look retarded with beanies on, but honestly, like, I need to readjust. Readjust. Okay, let me not just, let me put it on the, the correct A lot of questions about this hat. I got this hat for Christmas and it's the Fendi Marc Jacobs collab hat. So yeah, they had like a whole line that they did like a collab with Marc Jacobs and this was one of the pieces. So that's where the hat's from. 
And then my Nike outfit that you guys have seen like a thousand times is from Dick's Sporting, <laughs> from Dick's Sporting Goods. Nothing, nothing has changed. I actually don't really like wearing the hat because I feel like I can't hear myself talking and then I feel like I'm screaming. But let's put on a fragrance. I don't know what shoes I'm going to wear. Absolutely in love with the Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy lately. Ugh. But I think I want to finish this. I need to finish it anyways. It's the Gypsy Water. This is one of my favorite perfumes. Like, oh my gosh, I'll just... It's almost gone. I love it so much. It just smells like fresh and clean. I'm pretty sure my shoes are downstairs. So this is the look featuring my disaster of closet. I'm just gonna put this on. Boom. This is not giving looks, but it's okay. We're just going to target. <laughs> uh, shoes. I haven't worn these in a while, so I think I'm gonna wear these. Oh, I can wear these. Aaron got me these just not like not that long ago because I needed some black sneakers. Sorry about the angles, y'all. In my dirty laundry. These are the Christian Dior little sneakers. And I know I already said in my last vlog about like the not buying, you know, the whatever. So listen, this was all from last year, okay? <laughs> and I don't think there's anything wrong with buying designer here and there, but I definitely want to be up on all of my, at least on all of my saving goals before I personally spend any more money. Why was that so hard to get on? Ugh, I need socks for sure. I'm tripping. Tripping. Oh, Sullivan. The only kind of socks I have are these Pilates socks from that one time I went to Pilates and was like, oh yeah, I'm a Pilates girl now. And so I ordered the socks because I was like, I just don't like being barefoot. But I've never went back to Pilates. And I don't know how I feel about sticking my toes in individual little, that feels so weird. I'm not even okay up to you. Was I supposed to put my foot through? That's not the right hole. All right, this is too complicated. Just give me some socks off the floor or something. I really don't care. Here we go. I had these on yesterday, so it's not that big a deal. They a, they a little bit rough on the bottoms, but no worries. Okay. We're barely going to make it to Target on time. Alrighty, I shall meet you guys in the car. Let's go. Hey Siri, play another nasty song by Lotto. Another nasty song by Lotto now playing. I don't know why Siri cannot give me a good playlist. 
I told y'all, I don't got no playlist, so I just be like, oh, this is what I'm in the mood to listen to. And so you would think she would give me stuff like that I like. No, she just be shuffling through shit. Like, I don't hate this song, but like, this is not the vibes. As soon as the time was over, bitch, you played. She wanna ride the rover. Told her her open was close. Bitch, you crazy. She didn't know what I said. They should make it safe. This is the bag that I like. Told her her open was close. Bitch, you crazy. Look at my bitch. She real. Okay, let's go to Target. We only gotta be in here for like 30 minutes. And we got a list. And we, we're gonna look at the home decor, but. <laughs> We're gonna stick to our list, okay? I am thinking about doing some home um, updates and refreshes. I'm so sorry. I just knocked y'all's head off. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna do like a little home refresh. Oh, Lord. I'm checking my work emails before we go in. Okay. Into... Let's go. Okay, overall, I would say that was a pretty productive trip. We didn't get too many things we didn't need. I feel like I really stick to the list. The only thing that I picked up was the loom, and that's because I would have been got, like, loom, but I get tired of ordering off Amazon because it's always, like, in stock, not in stock. And they had some of the cream deodorant, so I was like, oh, say less. Even though I really want some body wash, too, but I didn't go look on the body wash aisle to see if they had the body wash in stock, but maybe I'll look online and see i did okay on time it's 12 30 so i should have some time to just go home and make myself a quick salad i did eat breakfast this morning i'm trying to like make myself eat a little bit in the mornings to hopefully help with like my energy levels throughout the day so i had a piece of toast and a vegan sausage and i've really just been loving salads lately like i don't know what it is i mean i've always been a salad girl but i guess i just I don't know I did never really make them at home that often so now since I've started to like do salads as my lunch every day instead of like eating fast food or uber eats and doing salads and I thought I was maybe gonna go to Salada but it's 12 30 so I'm just gonna go home and use the rest of like the tomatoes and peppers that I had cut up from yesterday and throw a little piece of chicken in the air fryer real quickly look at us we are flourishing. We're drinking lemon water out of our Stanley. And we're just left Target. Okay? Afternoon Target trip. And we're on our way to have a salad for lunch. Like, I love that. 
I love that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways there was a couple of things that i saw in target that i still kind of was like mm, i wanted to get but i'm like i didn't know if i absolutely loved it i was looking at a lamp in particular because i want to get a little lamp for the living room to like go over one side of the couch and i also want to put like a mirror up and then maybe like get an olive tree like a faux olive tree so yeah i have a mirror sitting in my cart right now on amazon and I'm trying to like, you know, I'm on a, want to save, but also like, I think it would just be like really nice in the space. Overall, sorry, we're under the bridge, so it's loud, but I told you guys, I kind of just want to refresh the space. I mean, I feel like I never just really put my stamp on places where we're renting because you have to like take it down and a year goes by so fast and it's just like unnecessary holes in the wall and stuff. So like, that's why I don't really hang much up but I think it would be cute if I got like what is that oh it's this truck right here that's so noisy okay I'm gonna wait until y'all once I move away from this okay anyways like I was saying so <clears throat> basically I want to just liven up the living room just a little bit and I think like a pretty arched mirror and a little faux plant would really just like tie it all together without doing too much you know so that's my thoughts for there and then I've also been thinking about um doing some just like DIY projects I kind of want to make like a little small coffee table for my room where my two chairs are but I need something that's really low like and I want something, you know, my aesthetic, and I don't want to pay a thousand dollars for it. So I saw this girl on TikTok do like this DIY glass table, and she got everything for like a hundred bucks at Home Depot, and it looks like something I can actually do, okay? Because it's like not painting, and it's like abstract with like plaster, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So, because y'all know my DIY projects lately have not been, they not been given what they supposed to give. And then along with that, I saw that new trend that's going around where everybody is doing like the um letters on a canvas but then plastering it over i think that's so cute and i was thinking about making like a little i don't know making a little one for somewhere in the house i guess i don't know but i just think they're cute so maybe we'll do a little diy project soon i don't know if it'll be this week but maybe like next week or something we'll just see because today was kind of like my only day where i don't feel like i'm gonna be super busy i told y'all we have dentist and doctors ooh, appointments <laughs> we have dentist and doctors appointments for the kids tomorrow so we're pretty much busy like jam-packed full schedule tuesday wednesday thursday friday is a maintenance day and then saturday i don't really know what we're going to be doing saturday i'll probably be editing on saturday so anyways yeah all right well i'm gonna get to the house good morning it's the next day and we are getting ready to take the boys to their doctor's appointments and dentist appointments. So last week, Carter and Carson went and they got up to date on their vaccines and all that stuff. And so now we got to take Mello. So I'm just finishing up getting dressed. We're running a little bit behind schedule, so I'm trying to make up for that. So we're going to quickly closet is a mess. This is my mom outfit of the day. I have on some mom jeans that are flooded which I bought a new pair, but now I can't find them. <laughs> and some track runners. My closet is a mess. Clearly, what's new? And then I just have on some rings. I put my hair in like a sophisticated mom bun. I'm going for a mother look today. These jeans are so flooded, I cannot. But I don't know. I don't know where my hands are. Did I already wear them? Oh, I wore them to the basketball game. Well, that means they're clean, so I'm probably gonna change jeans. Cause these are just like, these are short. And when I wear sneakers, it gives me like a little bit of height and these look extremely flooded. So we're probably gonna change our jeans. The jeans that I have are kind of like the same style. They're just like longer and baggier. Um, but these ones that I have on right now are from American Eagle. And I like these, I just need them in a regular, not a short, cause the short is, Anyways, for our fragrance, we're going to just do, um, this is giving young mom, 
if we if we use this because this is real sweet. Maybe we should do something a little bit more sophisticated. Let's give an older smell. Gucci Guilty is like grown. My mom wears Gucci Guilty, and so do my aunts. So. on our mother mothering today <laughs> should have planned this out a little bit better because i low-key want to go buy starbucks if we can leave here in the next 20 minutes we can maybe hit starbucks it's raining really bad outside and i still have to get all the kids dressed because this morning just started out like not like a regular morning i was looking through some paperwork to try to see if we could find aaron's birth certificate because he lost his id now so <sighs> and you're a little bit of a late start. I'm switching purses, so let's do a, what's in my purse. We've got house keys, we've got car key, sunglasses, hand sanitizer. I can go over there. My gum is empty. Um, I usually keep like a little mini perfume in my purse but i don't have a mini gucci guilty so we'll just take this little jazz club can y'all see that far i need to get an eye exam so that summer fridays also some nyx lip balm hopefully y'all can see me a hair clip and then my cards i gotta get a new wallet the blicky for those asking or curious, also AirPods, and then I think I have like a couple dollars in cash. But for those asking what size the 380 Ruger, it's a baby block, okay? And for those who are concerned that I carry it in my purse, if you don't like guns, I'm so sorry. Texas is one of those states that where it's legal to have them, and um, everybody carries one, so. I'm not gonna be the only one not carrying one. Do you feel me? Anyways, we're taking the tote bag. Since we're gonna be out for a while, I actually need to take like a diaper-ish type of bag. So I gotta pack up all my little stuff in here: bottles, diapers, wipes. What I should have did is try to get iPads last night because doctor's appointments. Even though you schedule your appointment at a certain time, we are literally always there for like an hour and a half. It's ridiculous. So, anyways, this is our chaotic mom look for the day. And then my face is all red over here because I picked out this so Look at me. Alright, I'm just gonna unplug the flat iron. The baby's asleep. So I'm gonna get Carter and Carson ready. First, I'm just gonna put the laundry. Sweatpants. Did I already say it's raining outside? Yeah. It's raining outside. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I should have asked Aaron to come with me, but. It's too late now. It's a little too late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If your kid bites their nails or sucks their thumb, you need this. You can get it off of Amazon. It's called Nix It. Carter used to bite his nails down to the nubs, and now his nails are so pretty and healthy. I've just been putting it on there every day. You need to do it for like at least like 21 days so they can like break the habit. I need a bobby pin over here or something. The U part is not U parting today. All right. Oh, well, there goes the baby waking up. So let's go get him dressed. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I need Starbucks immediately. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I just made the kids theirs and then I didn't eat. So I haven't drank any new water. I had any vitamins. Hello, sugar bug. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? We gotta get dressed. You're not gonna be a happy camper today. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. Come on. Come on, let's get dressed. Hello, love bug. You smell good. You smell good. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
I was like, what's all over your diaper? It's oranges. And you pooped. You could have gave me a heads up. You could have gave me a little heads up. Oh, stink butt. Stink butt. Carson. What? Hand me some wipes, please. Okay. Oh. We're unprepared. I just got a pack of new wipes, so we've had like one pack of wipes circulating around the entire house. But I put the um, wipes on auto delivery now from Amazon, so I don't have to worry about it. Thank you. Um. Okay, you stinky, stinky boy. Ew. Oh my gosh, y'all will not even believe. I'm not even gonna tell y'all, that was really disgusting. Mellow. Mellow. <laughs> Yucky. This is what I use to change his diaper whenever I change him. It's the Mustala No Rinse Cleansing Water. I really use it mainly whenever he goes Number two, just to make sure they get everything clean and off of there. And then I'll use some type of like diaper rash cream or aquaphor on his butt also just to like help prevent any diaper rash because he goes to the bathroom a lot. Yeah, you are like a poop machine. Because you eat so much. He eats like a grown man. Like, be so serious. He'll sit at the table and like scream. And he eats more than Carter and Carson for breakfast. Yeah. Food before one is just for fun. Yeah. Yeah. With your little squishy tushy. Squishy tushy. Say squishy tushy ushy. We put some stuff in his hair last night. Curls is popping. The curls is curling. He's like, what is going on? Hi. Hello, Dad. All right, let's put your clothes on. We're gonna put on this little orange outfit. It's easy to get on and off. If we can get out the house before 10 o'clock, we can get Starbucks. That's 15 minutes. I'm going to do my best. So I will see you guys when we get in the car. I'm just gonna throw him on an outfit, get the kids ready, um, the other boys ready really fast. They already brushed their teeth and all that stuff. We just need to put clothes on, so. I think we can do it. We just gotta pack a couple bottles, a few snacks. We have a long day. We're gonna be out of the house for like, until like it's basically time to come home and start getting ready for bed, it feels like, because their dentist appointment is not till two in the afternoon. His doctor's appointment's at 1045, and we have to drive all the way out of the city. What? You need a turn around. You need to go get some clothes on. You need a turn around. You need to go get some clothes on. For the past two days, we've been having like epic nerf, nerf wars around the house, and I have been tearing them up. I have really good aim, y'all. Like I just listen. Don't let me get to bragging, but I am just one of those people who I guess I'm just I'm a lucky girl. You know that lucky trend that's going around. I'm just a lucky girl. Like I don't know what it is. I do not have any of the qualifications or skill set to do half the stuff I do. But let me tell you something. Um, you try to play me in a game, in any type of game, and I'm gonna win. Like, I, I always win. <laughs> yeah. Whether it's laser tag, bowling, basketball, even though do I look like a basketball player, be at the bar. But if we're playing like a shooting game, oh yeah, winning. I'm winning. Card game, winning. Yeah. Beer pong, winning. <laughs> Nerf, Nerf Wars, winning. Tearing them up. I got good aim. I'm a lucky, lucky girl. Are you looking like you boy? <laughs> All right. Say one down. We just need to get you socks. You smell so good. That coconut oil lotion that I use on them. Chef's kiss. Like they literally smell amazing. Especially like the next day when they like wake up in the morning. I love baby smell. I love baby smell. I love the baby smell. Say, I'm almost walking, you guys. It's so crazy. He like went from crawling to like leaping or whatever he's doing, but he's like climbing up on stuff. He's standing up on all the furniture. 
Um, you finna take off real soon. Are you finna be walking, my boy? All right, let's go get you socks. Get a couple diapers. nothing to do all day that would be nice okay it's 10 o'clock and we made it out of the house so we're on our way to the doctor's appointment and we're gonna start by Starbucks so I'll come back and see you guys when we are getting our Starbucks because I really don't know what I'm gonna get I don't know what I'm in the mood for but because he has to I know my jeans are so flooded it's ridiculous okay it's raining, so I need to focus on the road. TTYL. Okay, we made it to Starbucks. Hi, can I have um, a tall peach green tea with lemonade? And then can I have three turkey bacon sandwiches? And then can I also have one um, cake pop, just the vanilla, our birthday cake? Okay, well I got the sandwiches for the kids. We're not going to be really able to talk this whole car ride because I'm letting them watch a movie and then it's obviously raining. So we got our Starbucks, we're headed to the doctor's office, so I'll see y'all once we get there. Okay, well, we're done at the doctor's. It was okay. It was forever, oh, like I thought it was going to be. Now, Mom. Yeah, we're going to go get lunch, and then we're going to go to the dentist. So I'm going to take them probably to like Chick-fil-A to play at an indoor park, because we still have like uh, 12 to 2, 2 hours until we have to go <laughs> to the dentist. I called the dentist to see if we, they would let us come earlier, but they said they didn't have anything available. So I think I'm going to go peek into ba Bye Bye Baby really fast, because it's over here, and just see what they have. And um, then we'll go to Chick-fil-A, eat lunch play a little bit and then head to the dentist but he did really good with his shots he didn't cry on the first one he did cry on the second one just for like a couple seconds and then he was okay so everybody's up to date now and we're all good to go I'm out of breath because I had to run all three of them <laughs> one at a time to the car in the rain it's still I don't know if y'all can see all the way Mom, up there but no, look at him. he's bleeding to death no he's not he had a little bit of blood on his second shot but Whew, we're all good that's where you lived when you were born, Carter. At the doctor and I cried? No, right there. Where? Look across the street. When I was four? When you were born, when you were just a baby. That's where we lived. McDonald's. We getting Chick-fil-A, boy. I'll take some McDonald's. Okay, I'll take you to McDonald's. But we're going to play first. Okay. All right, I actually don't know if you can play inside the little kids' places since COVID or whatever, and I'm not going to chance it by getting all the way out of the car with all three kids to see. So instead, we're going to do Chick-fil-A, and then Carson runs McDonald's, so I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A and McDonald's. And then we have a couple of little things that we can do right here. Um, or do y'all want... No, we're not getting out of the car. Sorry. Um, I was going to say Panda Express, but they have a Barnes & Noble over there, so we can like go look at books or read books, and then also there's a pet store over there, and I wanted to look at some um, like aquarium stuff for the little axolotls that we have anyways, so we'll probably just do that, and we'll eat in the car, and they have their movie playing, so we'll just sit in the parking lot and watch the movie, eat, and then go inside. Hopefully the rain Look at the rain! <laughs> No, it's not gonna stop raining all day. It literally says rain. Can you all see that? It says rain all day. Oh wait, that's that's somewhere else. Wait. I think it's because oh. of it's oh, oh. getting dark again. 
Oh, why is the sun not coming up? Because it's raining and it's pouring. And Chicoria Boring. is dumping per usual. Should we bring the fire pots? Maybe they'll get all the rain out of here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to get a chicken salad. I'm going to get some donuts. What do you want from McDonald's that you don't want from Chick-fil-A? I want some chicken nuggets and dishes and hamburgers and fish eggs. Mom, can we please get out the car? Not right this second. What else do you have to do? We have to go through the drive through line to get our food. Did this get... Oh, no. We're all will look in there and see, and if I don't see no other kids up in there playing, then we staying in the car. And you know what I'm low-key sad about? We need gas. I haven't got gas, and I don't even know how long. But I can't even be mad because I didn't even tell Aaron that we were going to these appointments. So, I got, like, probably enough gas to make it home if I really pushed it, but I don't like letting the tank get low. You're not supposed to let the tank get low. So I'll probably stop and get some gas too. All right, we are at the gas station. Should we go through the car wash? Sure. Would that be fun? All right, let's get everybody's food. Is the baby sleeping? Yeah. Okay. Here's your McDonald's. Mom, we were here. Okay, baby. Anyways, I got them Happy Meal. Like I said. Yeah, I want some yeah. And then we got. No, what's Let's eat first though. Give it to me. We're not opening the apple juice. You eat, okay? Today drains me. <laughs> yeah. Hi. We went to the dentist. The boys did good at the dentist. But we've been out since, oh my gosh, 10 o'clock and it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And so I'm about to sit in my bed because it's the only room in the house that's clean right now. <laughs> And yeah, I'm gonna change. Well, let me not. I'm gonna change his diaper, and then I'm just gonna be editing for a little while. And that's all I have really planned for the rest of the day today. If I do anything else interesting, which I doubt, I'll come get y'all. shots Carson I don't really know it's kind of like a one day type thing everybody's pretty much back to normal today like 85% I would say so yeah we just had a rest and recovery day yesterday it was a long night on Tuesday because Carson was just pretty much in and out of sleep sick so uh, yeah it's Thursday we've been up for a little while I just made my bed took my vitamins and um the kids are in their dog's house playing, so if you hear them, they're playing. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, today's just going to be a reset day. We have a busy weekend, especially because we were starting back into basketball season a couple weeks ago. So Saturdays are pretty booked. And then Friday, tomorrow, I have all of my appointments to get my hair done, my nails done. So I'll pretty much be out of the house the entire day. So I just want to go ahead and get the house ready for the weekend and get everything, you know, ready to go. We have to run out of the house later just because um, I have to go pick up the kids' medical records from the doctor because even though I set an alarm on my phone and it was going off the whole time we were at the doctor's appointment, I got to get them before we left. 
So I have to go back and do that. And then I also have to go and get Carmelo's birth certificate. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I don't know where exactly we're gonna start, but the whole house is a mess. So we're gonna get it done and we're gonna do it quickly because it's already 9.30 and usually taking and cleaning the house is like an all day project, but I need to get it done by like before the afternoon today. So we're just gonna do a little speed clean real quick and get it together. So now we are going to head to run around town. So, oh my, at first I thought I was needing something, but I'm not missing anything. Um, I just need my birth certificate. I mean, I just need my ID to pick up his birth certificate. I'm pretty sure I don't need his social. Fingers crossed. I don't get all the way out there, but I'm pretty sure I don't. I've had to get my brother's birth certificate a couple times. So, doctor, tax office, lunch. And then I'll see you guys when we get back home so we can finish like placing our grocery order. I put the laundry out already, did a little quick clean. So we just really gotta place the grocery order. And I think that's I think that's it. Should be good to go after that. Good morning. Today is Friday and it's a girl's day. I'm literally so freaking excited because, oh my goodness. This week has been, <laughs> it hasn't been bad, but with the kids sick, it's definitely been draining to say the least. And I feel like I've just been doing a lot of like ripping and running around. I'm excited to just have a me day. Early in the morning, we're about to head over to Ulta because I need to pick up a couple of things i'm we're gonna go to ulta and then our lash appointment is first straight to the nail shop and then we have some time in between there before our hair appointment oh look all the girls are coming out of their sculpt house class that's gonna be us soon i still haven't decided what i'm gonna do i need to hurry up and make a decision if i'm gonna like schedule classes or if i'm gonna I don't know we're gonna see how this first week of like daycare goes and then see what my new schedule or routine is gonna be when it comes to like working out and stuff but okay well I don't uh, if I want to go to a Starbucks with the drive through that means I have to drive all the way down or I can go to the one over here and get out anyways y'all my freaking eye you guys i don't know if y'all can see it from this far away or not but it's like all red i don't know what's happening with my skin ever since i got pregnant with carmelo like my skin all over my whole body has just been so sensitive and like really dry and y'all know well if you've been seeing me use like the little tula eye cooling roller thing in the blue tube at first i really liked it because it gives you like a little bit of like an awake look but it freaking this morning when I put it on like my under eyes got like so red like even at the top of both my eyes are like all red and irritated and I don't know if it's because like the other products I used last night because last night was my exfoliation night so I because I'm doing like skin cycling um, which has really helped my skin by the way like I found like some new products that have like really helped keep the acne away on my face like I don't have any active breakouts on this side of my face I have like two like those were my two last active breakouts and they're not active anymore. My face just gets really bad like post inflammation. So like they're still like red in that area, but um, they're just like in the healing process. So I'm literally so excited I could cry because I feel like my skin is about to be like clear again. And listen, one thing about it, yeah. Okay, I guess we're just gonna go sit in Starbucks. I'll tell y'all the kids are staying the night at their grandma's tonight because 
Um, me and Aaron are supposed to be doing something tonight or like going on a date or whatever. And I had told him earlier in the week, I was like, oh yeah, I need a break ASAP. I just, I needed a break. I've been a little burnt out um, of mommy mode lately. Like I just been like going through the motions but I'm just very much drained and exhausted. And I was like, listen, I need a break. We need to go on a date. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. I feel like, I think I talked about it a little bit earlier in the vlog, but I'm just, I'm a little tapped and I need some re refuel. Cause it's just almost like I can't get my I just I don't know because y'all know like I function I function off of a schedule and I feel like the kids being in school gives the day a little bit more structure and a little bit more of a schedule and so then it'll be easier for me to like get myself on track so anyway child yeah I guess I'm just gonna go in here at Starbucks because I haven't eaten anything so let's go grab a drink real quickly I think I'm just gonna get a tea I really ain't been in a coffee mood lately like teas and refreshers have kind of been my little thing as of late so if you guys have any like good refresher drink so let me know because my two things that I go back and forth with I between is like a peach green tea with like lemonade and I'll add like a pump of raspberry and peach juice and then also I'll get like a pink drink and add the same little syrups to it just to like zhuzh it up a bit but that's usually like all I really get I don't even know if I'm technically in a parking space I should probably re-park I'm going to these people are all leaving I have um, a turkey bacon sandwich yes ma'am and then can I have a tall pink drink tall pink drink uh -huh. and do you guys have any peach juice or raspberry syrup uh, I think we have both can I have one cup of both <laughs> I forgot about that combo. <laughs> and then that's it. Okie dokie. Is that going to be all for you? Yeah. I got a pink drink, a tall pink drink with a peep. This is definitely my drink. This is your drink? You know? Oh. Did I already drink it? I don't know what you Probably. did. We got the same thing. We got pink drink with a pump of peach juice and raspberry syrup. And then a turkey bacon sandwich. Spinach feta. They was clearly busy because what the You know they actually just take these hoes out the wrapper and pop them in a warmer. Yeah, I know. They they frozen. Best frozen meal I ever did have. Honestly, if they just sold those like, like in the, the little store? freezer section, would they would never have. They would never have to worry, worry about me again. Oh okay. mm, All right, we're gonna go home really fast first because I forgot I had pajama pants on, and we can't be going to Nina with the pajama pants. Yeah, regather. Mm -hmm. I'll fix my hair a little bit more, <laughs> and then I'm gonna change my clothes, and then we're gonna head to the mall. I'm so hungry. I have eight water. We just woke up. Who? Or me. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I've been up since fucking six o'clock with my gremlins. Yeah. You're more of a little young boy waking up early. <sighs> I love when grandma's here. That means I don't have to be. Batteries. Afraid. I got them. Okay. I changed my clothes. I literally just put on the matching pants to this little Damn. sweatsuit and then I attempted to try to bump <clears throat> in my hair, but anyways, this is what we looking like. I be looking a mess. I'm just probably wear some sunglasses and all, but it's cool. I wanna hurry up and get back before they get back because Aaron's mom is keeping them this morning. She's taking them to the park so I can go do my little maintenance. So to the mall we go. I will see y'all once we get to the mall here. She said she don't fuck with me. Who said that you can't ho? That nigga munch and he gon' eat me like a mango. I know what I do to my fuck that these hoes be mad at. Oh yeah, I got for my bitches and I'm fighting all that dick too. This one smells better too. When it like sets. 
Let's see what the pink one smells good. What's that one? That's the gentle thing. Oh, I think she has that one. <laughs> They got everyone in the Billie Eilish most bomb. I want to go to Sephora first. But what does this smell like? It smells like good. That's what I use with my Melrose stuff from um, Way. But I want to mm. smell the blue. This smells good. I don't know how I feel about that. It's like too much. Mm -mm. Okay. I Damn, that took my nose. <laughs> I need to re-up on this, but I don't see it. Oh, I don't know. This, I'm, you're right. I like this better. Yeah, the pink is the best. Oh, I think the cherry and stuff. Yeah, they don't even have it. I need to get that. The mist smells, you need the lineup. You need the lineup. You need this and the Burberry hair and the way Mel goes. Listen. <laughs> oh, the Burberry hair. Do they have that again? Yeah. That's at Ulta. Do they have it The light up says it's like for get ready, take a shower, yeah, you put on your cream. Okay, I need to get it. I need to get on there. I need to get on the YouTube. Yeah, you need to watch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did my reel too. Smell the red. I don't hate it. It's very light though. Let's see what the body wash is. I have so many different perfumes on my Is this one good? I actually like that. It's like clean and like but refreshing. It's, I but can't it's smell a little it. sweet. I like that. I think I'm like I'm trying to say <laughs> it's a very light. Okay, black amber plum vanilla. Why don't they have that mix? <laughs> I don't know. And then why do they only have the big ass? The red. The big ass one of them. Okay, we're gonna try this. They have the scrub too, so we might as well. Yeah, it's great. One. I'm thinking about doing these. What's that? The nice and wide. No, I don't want the serum. I want the toner. Right here. Oh. Nice and wide brightening toner. Yeah, we'll see what it's hitting for. Um, can I do tomatoes, green peppers, radishes, onion? I do banana pepper. Mm -mm. Sorry. Um, can I do the ginger lot? Oh, well, let me see. Spicy chipotle. Let me do the ginger lime. That's fine. Can I do an extra one? Like, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, can I do... I'll do chicken. Mm -mm. Uh, for here. Yeah, can I have croutons? I don't know what's going on with my lens, but it's just so gross. Alright, let's see what it's heading for. Oh, it's gone. I'm gonna do a haul really quickly before the kids get back and it gets super noisy. Um, let's see. I did go to American Eagle, which is the only place I don't think I've logged in. I tried to try on quite a bit of stuff, but they didn't really have 
out a lot. I ended up getting just some like mom jeans. I'll probably wear these like on Saturdays to the kids um, basketball games and stuff. So yeah, they're just the wide leg, baggy wide leg. And then we did go into Ulta. So I got the e.l.f. Um, power Grip Primer just because I heard it's a really good primer. I might dibble and dabble into some makeup or I'm thinking about taking like a makeup class to like learn how to do my makeup maybe just so I can be put together for a little date nights and stuff. Um, and then I went to try this and they had like the sample size at Ulta and it's the Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum FPF by Super Gloop because I really love my Elta but Elta well, MD yeah but I went to try that one so then I got the Way Scalp Serum because baby this stuff is actually really good it's like a hyaluronic acid serum for your scalp and especially while my hair is in braids I like using that in the morning time instead of an oil because it's not greasy but it's hydrating and then I also got the niacinamide brightening toner I wanted to try this out just because I don't really have a good toner in my routine and niacinamide is supposed to be a really good ingredient so I got that as well it's taking me a little. Oh, the kids are here. Hello. Where's that one? In the bathroom. And then I got a couple different hey, tops. We got a Mario Kart. Yeah, we got Mario Kart. You have a good time? Yeah, we ate orange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, my daughter's in the car. You say that, and then they do not be taking the night. They tell me that. Like, part of my grandma, I'm so tired. And I said, and then he was like, I need a nap. Oh, I'm like, mm -mm. I took a nap last night. We went to night two parks. And he Outside? One outside so I could play basketball, and we went to the mall so I could eat two. I got a little bit There was a brief intermission. The kids came home, but everybody's settled now. So I got some tops from Zara. I got a new church shirt, because if y'all watch my weekly vlogs, then y'all know I'd be wearing the same shirt to church. So I got this cute little flowy linen type of shirt. We'll see what it's hidden for. And then I got a sweater. I went to Zara looking for this specific sweater, but they didn't have it. So I got this one instead. It's like a cropped knit sweater with like the oversized sleeves, which I like. And it has like a little turtleneck vibe. And you can like roll it down but y'all know me i'm very simple and plain i thought a little sweater with a jean would be cute and then we also got this little bodysuit has like a little cut right here in the chest i should have tried it on but i didn't really want to go in the fitting rooms and i look you maybe should have got like extra small because this looks a little big but again just something i could wear with jeans thought that was cute y'all know me the neutrals and then i saw this sheer one and i like this it's a little bodysuit could wear this to something with some jeans you feel me so anyways i really was hoping to find like a better outfit i was also looking for a purse while we were there because we stopped at neiman marcus but i couldn't find <clears throat> i couldn't find the color bag that i wanted to kind of like match my neutrals um so yeah that's pretty much everything that i got besides the sephora stuff which lashville is completed i love having my lashes done i don't care listen they said lashes is going out of style but ah. so we are headed to the nail shop so this is a before can y'all see before me do your things like it ain't going to win. Shake, shake, shake that ass, girl. Go, go, go. 50 in the house, bounce. Y'all already know what I'm about. The flow sounds sick over Dre drums. I ain't sleeping outside the house. Y'all already know what I'm about. The flow sounds sick over Dre drums. I ain't sleeping I see that. Then my dope come quicker. Whoa, Charlie lifts his hip, not that she moves to so about it. Watch, I'm like, bounce that ass, girl. I get it crump in here. I make it jump in here. Front in here, we'll thump in here. Oh, so good, I'm so ghetto, so hard. So gully, so grimy, what's good? Outside the bins on dubs, I'm in the club with the snug. Don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. Uh. Little mama, show me what you're moving. Go ahead, put your back to it. Do your things like it ain't going to win. Shake, shake, shake that ass.
ass girl, little mama, show me how you move it. Do you think it ain't too wet? Shake, shake, shake that ass girl. Let's party, everybody stand up. Everybody put your hands up. Let's party, everybody stand up. Everybody put your hands up. Let's party, everybody stand up. Everybody put your hands up. Let's party, everybody bounce with me. Some champagne and burn a little green grape. It's hot. Disco inferno, let's go. You're now rockin' with a pro. I get dough to flip dough to get more for show. Get my drink on, then get on the dance floor. Look, homie, I don't dance. All I do is this. It's the same two step with a little twist. Listen, Peppin', I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Pay attention, boy. I teach you how to do this. We mix a little crisp with a little Dom Perignon and a little Hennessy. You know we finna carry on. Ballin' at the streets in the club, tryna get right. We gon' be up in this. Okay. It is much, much later. And the day did not go as planned. And I'm like, I'm really upset, you guys. <laughs> and I feel like I always try to like stay like super positive on camera. And I know it's because I'm about to start my period. So editing me is going to be like, girl, BFFR. But here we are. And I feel like talking to you guys is going to make me feel better. So that's what I'm going to do to end my night. Because basically going to get my hair done took way longer than it was supposed to which is really not the biggest deal in the whole world but it kind of ruined all of my plans this evening that i had um which again is not the bulk of why i'm upset that was kind of like the tipping point of the day <laughs> but basically I, I got out of my hair appointment i went in at three o'clock and I, it's 9 30 so i missed around reservations i'm being completely honest i don't really like my hair either yeah so here we are now getting ready for bed and i feel like what a day that was supposed to be you know fun and i was supposed to be you know able to do something with my dude and the kids are finally not here for one day is like a complete and utter like waste but apparently that is just my reality today so we're gonna do some skincare and chat so that i don't um have an emotional breakdown and cry i just had a lot of like things going on like around the end of this month and I don't know I'm just feeling really drained I'm a very big like people pleaser and I just like I don't know it's just it's a lot but <laughs> I know it's because I'm about to be on my period I get so emotional before I'm about to be on my period so I feel ridiculous like crying and I know that I'm not crying about my hair because I'm not somebody who like gets easily upset about like things like that um because I'm just gonna take the hair out tomorrow to be honest and go back to putting my new part in um for now but I think like the day just being ruined is kind of like off it off because I felt like today was going to finally be my like woosah day and then it just turned into a lot more like especially with like just work and stuff and I feel like I don't know I feel like it's not something that like content creators can like talk about a lot because some people take it a certain type of way but it's really not like the easiest job in the world to do like just being completely honest um it's probably like the hardest job I've ever had <laughs> and just like trying to like balance that which i feel like sometimes i do a good job of but i feel like brands in general are just like very inconsiderate sometimes and like you put a lot of effort or work in to like meet deadlines and stay on track for stuff and then brands just drag and delay things which can mess up other things that you have because things are planned in advance so that kind of happened today so i was like still trying to work even though um like while i was getting my hair done and stuff and it just ended up being like this whole thing anyways so I'm going to try to uplift myself by answering some questions. So I asked you guys to answer, ask me some questions on Instagram. Okay, this is a good question to start off with. Sorry if the black lines be running through. I'm going to get a camera, I mean a, a light for my camera. So it will hopefully help with that. But it's just like something I really can't control right now. Anyway, somebody said, how do you balance being a mom, a partner, self-care, and all of that. And to be honest with you guys, I feel like since I had Mellow, my balance hasn't been really that great. Like, and which I can accept because I know that it's just a season because I've had two other kids. So I know that that's like just kind of like something that you go through when you have a newborn. And there's light at the end of the tunnel for sure. Um, I feel like on a regular, how I balance it is just like... I don't really know. I feel like I just go through the day-to-day -day emotions and try to make the best of everything and try to stay on top of a schedule as best as I can, but y'all clearly see me. Y'all see me. I don't, I don't know if I'm doing this. that <laughs> good of a job. But I really think it's just about having structure. And I know that this whole chaotic time period will pass. It's just adding a new addition, learning a new 
way, getting into the groove of things, and etc. So, okay, let me rinse my face. All right, my skincare routine tonight is really low-key, very simple, because I'm doing my retinol night, which is literally like two products. I just like wash my face and then I put my retinol on and skin cycling has really helped along with some other like new products that I've been trying out. Tonight is just retinol night. Okay, somebody said, where do I see my career be on YouTube? Will we get a McKenna skincare? Listen, I do kind of want to do something. It's not going to be skincare, um, but I do kind of want to do something. I've been thinking about it recently and it is like kind of on my goals for this year to to look into what i might possibly be interested in doing but i don't want to talk about it just yet because i don't know i just i would rather be more in the works of it before i'm like okay yeah so i don't like say it and then it never happens you know what i'm saying but anyways yeah i do think i would do something if you know i'm able to do it properly because that's like my biggest thing is like i just want to make sure that i do it the right way and like have all my ducks in a row and i don't even know where to get started in the process of it to be honest so yes and no we will see um as far as like besides that i feel like i feel like that's a good question i feel like i could see myself definitely like having um investments and things like that as my career like maybe in like real estate or something is um another thing that i'm kind of interested in i talked about maybe going back to school like um you know, I don't know, things like that. But for now, this, this is what we do. How do you prevent yourself from comparing yourself to others? And I would say I don't get on social media very often. Like, that's why you guys don't really see me on Instagram that much. I get on TikTok for, like, fun, just, like, you know, watch videos or whatever. But I honestly just, like, don't get on social media a ton, especially, like, content where it's, like, you're not seeing the full picture. You're just seeing, like, little bits of pieces of stuff because I feel like it's easy to be, like, look at somebody else's life or how they look or whatever and just like compare yourself to them without having any other context of it so when I find myself in positions like that I will just like get off of those like social sites or I'll just remind myself like you know I'm on my own journey I'm, I mostly have tunnel vision for the most part like I feel like I don't really like <clears throat> try to compare myself to others too much but I feel like it's natural for everybody you know to compare yourself to you know somebody even if it's not on the internet in life um but i just try to like like i said keep tunnel vision know that i'm on my own journey and my own path and that i'm doing the best that i can so this is where god wants me to be at the time that i'm at right now you know what i'm saying so yeah somebody said do you think you and your family will ever move to another state i think it's definitely a big possibility that we will move i just don't know when it'll be um places i've thought about moving is definitely florida i think living in miami would be really fun i really like the vibe in miami it's definitely high up on my list of places like if i wanted to move and that's mainly the only other place and then i thought about moving we've we've talked about moving maybe to houston miami and then I feel like that's pretty much it. I feel like I would maybe move to Georgia, definitely not to Atlanta, but maybe like Savannah or somewhere like a little bit outside of the city. Um, but I could definitely see myself being a Floridian, maybe. I don't know. I would still be a Texan at heart, but I could see myself living in Miami for sure. Okay, somebody said, how do you get over your postpartum insecurities? And I think my biggest take on like postpartum insecurities would be your body, your new body will become your new normal and you'll learn to love it. And I think also when you realize there's so many other people who experience the same thing as you and you look around and you see that nobody's body is perfect. And the majority of us who have not better moms, especially have multiple kids, like we have stretch marks, everything about your body looks different for the most part. And it's normal. And it, it looks, it, it's not as bad as, it's not as bad as you think it is. Obviously, if you want to change things, then you can. I personally did have a breast lift. It wasn't necessarily because I was like insecure about my boobs, like without clothes on or like being naked or anything like that. It was mainly just because I wanted to be able to wear certain clothing a certain way without having to wear a bra because obviously that can like get in the way of certain tops or things that you want to wear. But like I said, you will learn your new body. You will learn to love your new body because it'll be your new normal 
and when you stop comparing your new body to your old body it'll be easier um, to kind of accept that and just know that you carry human beings in your body okay baby like that's a lot that's a big deal that's a lot that is a lot <laughs> okay um and you look beautiful regardless so that's just how i take it it's definitely easier said than done but you know there's always things you can do too if it's like really something that just bothers you get in a gym work out try to get back you know to your old self but don't put expectations on yourself and also just like learn to love your new body the way it is because it's fine the way it is <laughs> I'm doing my skincare whenever I do my like retinol night I literally just cleanse my face to do my retinol and then do a moisturizer um but anyways the next question was somebody said would you ever do a meet and greet I definitely think that I could see myself doing a meet and greet one day with the girls I am thinking about planning something this year not necessarily like well I guess it kind of would maybe be like a meet and greet I don't know I have not worked out all the details yet um but when I do, or if that is something that's going to happen, I'll let you guys know. I would definitely be open to doing one. I just haven't, like, thought of how everything would go or, like, what the plan would be or anything like that. So, All right, somebody said, would I do a podcast? Absolutely. Y'all know I talk so much. I really want to start a podcast, to be honest. I just don't know what I would talk about on a podcast, like, because I could talk about so many things. But, like, so I don't know what, like, the niche of my podcast would be besides me just, like, rambling and ranting so yeah i do think that one day i probably will have a podcast i could definitely see myself having a podcast for sure for sure for sure for sure they would be like three four hours long <laughs> um but i definitely have thought about it and talk about it often so maybe in the future i feel like i've been getting a lot of questions about being just like a young mom and like do i like being a young mom and do i wish i would have waited to have kids and etc so one i did not plan on having kids young i never thought i would have kids young like even if you would have asked like all my friends in high school they probably would have thought i would be like the last one to like have kids young or anything because or not the last one maybe at the whole friend group but not the first one to have kids young so anyways i definitely um never planned on having kids young but i think god has a plan for everybody's life and so sometimes it just doesn't always go as you plan to do it i wouldn't have, like necessarily encourage like a teen pregnancy obviously because it's you know not <laughs> it's not ideal but for me this is all i know as being a mom i was kind of very independent before i had kids anyways and helped a lot with like my younger siblings and so i feel like i've always just kind of had like a mom role so it was easy for me to transition into motherhood in a sense and being a mom young and I mean, I honestly don't know what I would be doing if I didn't have my kids. They probably kept me from getting in a lot of trouble and just kept my head on straight and kept me down the right path. So, yeah, I don't I don't mind being a young mom at all. I think being a mom in general, like even I talked about in this vlog a little bit, it can just be overwhelming in general. Like, like especially when you have a new baby or you're transitioning into having another kid and just like going through different like phases and stages of being a mom and what ages like your kids are at and stuff can be difficult for anybody because being a mom is like a job just how everybody else has jobs and you know you can love your job but sometimes it can just be a lot i wouldn't say that i don't like being a young mom i am <laughs> i love being a mom and i'm young i don't know i'm not one of those people who like secretly doesn't like being a mom or just like hates motherhood i love my kids to death um yeah it's like i don't know <laughs> i don't know i feel like there's a big controversy around like like being a mom now and especially because some people are like just choosing not to have kids which is you know obviously your preference but one thing that i always say that's really nice about being a young mom is that i will get to have a lot of life with my kids so god willingly you know i will be able to like see my grandkids and maybe even see my grandkids kids okay so you know, those are things that I look forward to being a young mom is that I will get to just like have a lot of life with them and experience a lot of things with them, God willingly. Somebody said, what are you doing when the cameras are off? The same thing that I be doing when the cameras are on, but, but like lounging, probably like, <laughs> like if I'm not vlogging during the week, it's probably because I'm literally like either like just chilling or cleaning up. Because that's really all that I do. Like, that's why this year I really kind of want to, like, maybe find some more hobbies and stuff like that. Again, I'm just in, like, a season of my life. I did, like, have a baby. Did, I gotta say, that I didn't just have a baby. But, you know, I'm in, like, a transitional period. So I'm kind of just mainly, like, 
in mommy mode so yeah that's that's basically all i really been that's all i really be up to <laughs> watching tv tv is like one of my favorite pastimes okay somebody asked who my doctor was that i went to to get my breast lift and his name is dr anderson i went to dallas plastic surgery i feel like i i maybe never said that in a video but i've like answered it in like a lot of my comments but maybe i haven't said in a video but i got that question quite a bit um so far i am lo loving my boobs my scarring like the line going this way is very very minimal um this scar you can see but it should fade in time and your boobs kind of do like hide it with the way that they fall like the anchor scar um and the one around your nipple you really can't see at all they're doing good so far they have dropped um the stitches don't completely dissolve for like six months so if you're like feeling them you can still feel the like stitches underneath and stuff but besides that they've been doing pretty good so okay somebody said how do you handle negativity surrounded by being a young mom let me just tell you this one thing i've never had anybody dead to my face just like say something to me about being a young mom i think it's more so like a mental thing when we're thinking about how people are looking at us as a young mom do i definitely think the animosity or the judgment is there 100 percent um However, no one has ever been bold enough to really say anything to me that's like off the wall rude about being a young mom, except for like on the internet. Like I'll get comments here and there and people will be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. but like shit like that is bothering me. It doesn't face me at all. And I also know that regardless if I'm a young mom, I'm a good mom. I take care of my kids. Nobody else has ever taken care of my kids for me. I've been thugged it out and did it by myself. Okay. Can't nobody take credit for my kids, for my kids or ever say, you know. I ask for nothing which you should be able to ask people for things and get help don't get me wrong like there's nothing wrong with like having help i feel like that's such a good thing to be able to have is like community because i feel like that makes raising kids so much easier but for me personally that just wasn't my situation for a long time um so yeah i just i'm a good mom so like they you know <laughs> i don't feel any type of way about being a young mom because i know that doesn't change what type of mom i am if that makes sense so I don't care. I don't like that people judge me for being a young mom because it does make me feel uncomfortable. Um, but there's nothing I can do about it besides just keep on being the mom that I am. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, I'm a m new mom that plans to breastfeed completely. Do you have any advice or tips? I would say, hmm. I would say definitely having a hands-free pump is helpful just so that you don't feel tied down to anything. I would also say relax and stress. Like if that is one of your main goals is to breastfeed, you have to just like prioritize it over like everything else um, and just like make sure that it, like you're, you're doing it but like not like, okay, I got a pump because it's this time and just ripping and running. Like really just take it easy. I feel like that was my biggest problem with breastfeeding is like I'm somebody who feels like they always have to be like hyperproductive. I always have to constantly be doing something and I feel like that hindered my breastfeeding journey a lot because I just like couldn't sit still all the time to do it which where I would be like stressed out about it because I'd be like oh shit like here comes another three hours like now I have to pump again um so I would just say like really enjoying and romanticizing the journey and slowing down not stressing about it schedule you really gotta stick <laughs> you gotta be on that schedule okay you gotta be like pump every two two and a half hours um doing the like it's cluster feeding but like mimicking that with your pumping so when you do like 20 minutes and then off 10 and then 10 and then off and then another 10 or whatever that helps also bring your milk supply just staying like super super hydrated make sure that you're getting enough calories and just like letting the journey flow how it is and not stressing about it like even if that means you have to supplement for, for with formula for a little bit if you have like a bump in the road I would definitely recommend doing that. I feel like that's something that I didn't even think about was an option at the time when I was breastfeeding, but I feel like I would have kept going longer if I would have thought about that in my head or seen more people doing that, like supplementing, because then it would have gave me time to like build my supply back up instead of just like giving up because it had gotten so low. So if you do hit a bump in the road, I would definitely recommend just supplementing with formula, but keep on working on breastfeeding and getting your supply up if it's something that you really want to do. And then let's see, somebody said what were the color of my last nails, so the white ones that I got was called Funny Bunny or American White, which I actually really like that. That might be my little new staple. I got these nails today and they're cute, they're like an iridescent type of look, which I like. 
I'm a very simple gal. So <laughs> then what is my favorite thing about each of my sons? So for Carmelo, I can't really say yet because I don't really know his personality yet. He's still a baby. I love that he's a squishy, gushy, cute baby. That's my favorite thing about him. He is a really calm and chill baby for the most part, though. Like, he has his days, but he is a really good baby, so that I'm so grateful for. Um, and I'm very excited to see what his personality is going to be because our household is literally, like, a huge mix of different personalities. Like, oh my goodness. We got a Gemini, a Cancer, a Sagittarius, a Virgo, and a Taurus. BFFR, y'all know it's fucking chaotic over here. Okay, <laughs> like, um, my favorite thing that I love about Carter is he is just, I don't know, he, he, he's just, he's really just like amazing. Like he, me and him do like butt heads um, often, but besides that, he, like just his self and like who he is, it's just like, he's super helpful, he's super sweet, he's very kind and thoughtful. Um, He's obviously a kid, so we get into it about like little stuff and that we don't agree upon um, as far as watching TV and bedtimes and things like that. But besides that, like he's just very charismatic. He's very outgoing. He's very friendly. He's an amazing big brother. He's super, super helpful. Um, yeah, that, that's my little dog. I've been knowing him the longest. I didn't say he was my favorite. I don't have favorites. I have a favorite every day. <laughs> Whoever's on their best behavior. Um, Carson is also... I don't even know how to describe Carson because I want to say like he's so nice they're so nice but in different ways like they show their affection and like their love languages are very like different like Carson is very physical touch so he's like always loves to like hug on me or like give me a kiss and stuff like that and Carter is more like words of affirmation like he's always like mommy you look so pretty mommy I love your hair mommy like you know like compliments me and like it's just very thoughtful about little things like oh mommy i got this for you or i did this for you or i remember this about you whereas carson is very huggy huggy very touchy very i want to give you a kiss every five seconds i'll sit right up under your hip and he's just very um he's like it's like hard to describe because he's like super bubbly but also nonchalant like he's just like a ball of energy but can also be like really really chill i'm still learning his personality he's only three so i feel like within this next year we'll be able to like really see his vibe um but he's definitely a character for sure like the shit that he be saying and the way he acts is hilarious like he is just so okay whatever <laughs> like those are actual things he says like i don't know i feel like he's the most just like chill go with the flow like okay we just here we just vibing like he's just vibing for the most for the most part and just along for the ride um he's also a really good big brother he loves to help with the baby he's very affectionate to the baby um like i think his love language is more so like physical such so yeah i love all of them a lot they're just like they're amazing. Watching them grow is just so interesting to me as they develop their little personalities. <laughs> they're, they are definitely a hoot for sure. Like, anyways, they are starting to get a little bit, a little bit out of control. Okay. Um, so we're working on our attitudes right now, mainly. But besides that, I can't complain. Like, I feel like I have really good kids. So, yeah. That's it for this video. I feel much better. I was having a little bit of a mental breakdown, y'all. I'm really like low-key stressed as hell because like this whole thing that this brand just did like not getting back to me in time kind of like just pushed my whole entire schedule and y'all know I'm supposed to be going to get my teeth done. The kids start daycare next week and like all this is kind of just like piling up on top of, on top of itself and I know that everything's going to work out and it's going to be fine and I don't want to stress about it. It's just sometimes I get caught up in the moment and I'm like, holy shit and I just need to like release that and i feel like talking to you guys really helped with that so <laughs> i hope i didn't like dump you know any negative energy on you guys which is like that's why i don't really like to get on if i'm feeling any type of way because i don't want to like you know i don't want to bring any more negativity out just try to keep it as positive as possible but also y'all know i'm like super realistic with y'all just about things and i can't i can't fake it okay <laughs> so that's how today ended, not exactly how I planned. So I am a little bit bummed out, but you know, tomorrow's a new opportunity to have a better day. We got basketball bright and early in the morning, getting some new groceries in, and I'll have a chance to try again. And that is how I basically manage everything is I literally just get myself back up and try better tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a bath, 
because that's also my coping mechanism. <laughs> Any little inconvenience, I'm gonna take a bath, which is funny because I, I rubbed that off on Carter so bad. When we came home the other day from like being out and getting like all their paperwork and stuff, he literally came home, he's like, mom, can I rub myself a bath? And I was like, sure. <laughs> I was like, sure, I can't even be like saying no because that's exactly what I wanna do right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna take a bath and go to sleep when I see you guys. I'm probably gonna start the vlog maybe like not maybe not right over i'll probably start it like sunday or monday but i'll see you guys regardless well it'll be like for y'all but i get to see y'all every day <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna take a bath and go to bed and i hope you guys have a good week whenever you're seeing this or a better day and if you're having a rough little patch like me girl we just gotta get up and try and get tomorrow okay